students welcome back today's video is on photosynthesis transpiration and plant products this is a continuation of lesson number 6 plants in our surroundings and the environment now what is photosynthesis the process by which the leaves in a plant prepare food is called photosynthesis now what is required for photosynthesis water is required carbon dioxide and light energy from the sun now the roots absorb water from the soil this water is carried to the leaves through the stem the leaves have pores on the underside called stomata so carbon dioxide is absorbed from the air through the stomata then chlorophyll which is a pigment that is present in leaves absorbs light energy from the sun so with the help of light energy carbon dioxide and water is converted into food during photosynthesis now during the process of photosynthesis oxygen is given out and food in the form of sugars like glucose is formed which is later converted into starch next we come to transpiration what is transpiration the release of excess water through the stomata in the form of water vapor is called transpiration you can see the picture of a leaf these are the pores on the underside uh, on the underside of the leaf through which the excess water is released in the form of water vapor now plant products what are the plant products that we get from plants we get food from plants in the form of vegetables and fruits cereals and pulses spices and oils beverages dry fruits and sugar let's look at each one of them now you're very familiar with all these what are the vegetables that we get from fruits i put just a picture of a few of them there's broccoli peas cauliflower tomato carrots lettuce potatoes onions or are a few of the vegetables that we get from plants what about fruits mangoes oranges apples grapes jackfruit lemons so many the list can just go on and on avocado all these are fruits and vegetables that we get from plants next we come to cereals and pulses some of the cereals that we get from plants are rice wheat maize barley oats oats is also a cereal from plants what about pulses pulses are all the dals that we get from plants sometimes we are not able to identify the dals we do not know the names of the dals so i have a picture with the name this this is the moong dal here is the chana dal this is red lentil also called masoor dal this is half moong dal used for khichdi then i have here the whole urad dal then this is the half urad dal these are the red beans then kabuli chana then this is moong tur dal soya beans and moth beans so we get cereals and pulses from plants next we come to spices and oils we also get our spices from plants spices are used to add flavor to the food we eat some of the spices are cloves 
cardamoms, turmeric, peppercorn, nutmeg, paprika, star anise, ginger, cumin seeds, cinnamon, saffron and coriander seeds. All these I'm sure are there in your kitchen at home. We also get oil from plants. Oil is also extracted from the seeds of plants. Castor oil. This is the castor plant. Oil is extracted from the castor beans. Sunflower plant. We get sunflower oil from the seeds of the sunflower plant. Similarly with mustard. We get mustard oil from the seeds of the mustard plant. And coconut oil. I'm sure all of you know. From the coconut. Now have you heard of essential oils? They are very fragrant, aromatic. Now these are oils that are extracted from certain plants and these oils retain the scent of the plant. Examples are peppermint oil, lavender oil, eucalyptus oil. These are called essential oils and they are extracted from the flowers, from the leaves, from the bark and even from the root of certain plants. Next we come to beverages, dry fruits and sugar. What is a beverage? Beverage is a drink other than water. Portable drink means that can be, that is safe for drinking. Now two beverage crops, very important major beverage crops in India are tea and coffee. We get coffee from the coffee beans and tea from the tea leaves. Next is dry fruits. All of you are familiar with dry fruits. Cajun nuts, pistas, almonds, then uh, walnuts are all examples of dry fruits. Sugar. We also get sugar. Sugar is extracted from certain plants. Example, sugarcane and the sugar beet plant. In the case of sugarcane, now during photosynthesis, sugar is produced in the leaves of the plant. That sugar is stored in the stem of the uh, sugarcane plant. Have you ever had uh, sugarcane juice? It's very sweet. So what is done? The stalks are cut or the stems are cut. They're taken to the factory. Juice is extracted from the cane and then it is crystallized to form sugar. In the case of the sugar beet plant, the root is used to extract sugar. Next, we come to other uses of plants. Now, what are the other things that we get from plants? We get wood from plants or from trees for making furniture. We get fiber from plants in order to make clothes, bags, etc. We also get paper from plants, rubber as well and gum. And some plants are also used as medicines. Let us see. Wood from plants. Now trees like oak, teak, pine are give very strong wood that is used to make furniture. It's cut into logs and then is made into furniture. This is the oak tree, teak tree and the pine tree. Next we come to fibers. Some plants give us fibers that are strong enough to make cloth. For example, cotton. What do we do with the cotton fiber? We are clothes. Are some of the clothes that we wear are made from cotton fiber. Now which part of the plant gives you this cotton fiber? It comes from the fruit part of the plant. What about jute? Jute comes from the stem of the plant. Jute is also called the golden fiber. Why so? Because it is a has a shine. Now, uh, jute, what is jute used for? Jute is used for making ropes. It's used for making mats, yeah, for making bags. 
there is another fiber that we get from the flax plant and uh, that fiber gives us a textile or a material called linen which is very strong and absorbent in fact it dries much faster than cotton another fiber that we get is coir we get coir from the husk of the coconut used for making dough mats ropes yes next let us go to paper rubber and gum now we get paper from bamboo paper is made from bamboo rubber from the rubber plant or the rubber tree see there are cuts made like made like this incisions made like this and the sap is collected and this sap from this sap things like gloves tires erasers and many other rubber things are made here is gum this is natural gum the acacia tree gives us this gum natural gum the gum is also used in uh, industry for uh, in food industry as a thickening agent next we come to medicines there are some plants that are used as medicine examples are uh, amla amla helps to burn fat helps to reduce weight helps to find uh, helps to fight common cold and is very good for eyesight it improves your eyesight tulsi tulsi helps to strengthen the immune system very much required during this pandemic it is also very good for digestion neem neem can be used as a mosquito repellent and the paste made from neem leaves can be used on uh, pimples to reduce pimples then we have aloe vera very commonly used as a moisturizer the gel is used as a moisturizer on the face aloe vera juice is very good is very rich in nutrients children for today it is we stop at this i have completed this lesson a very interesting lesson please read the lesson and stay safe